What's up everybody and welcome back to Scorched Earth Gaming. Today we are playing Kitten Squad. We're doing a little taste test on this. Um, this is a free to play twin stick shooter made by PETA. Uh, so it's got a lot of animals as the team. Um, the whole point of it is to rescue animals from sadistic murderous robots. That's uh, pretty much the gist of it. Uh, this guy here, the pirate pug, gives you bounties for things to do, like destroy crates or kill certain types of enemies, and he will give you cat coins, which you use at the shop here, which you can use to buy beanies and glasses and skins for your cat, stuff like that. Don't know what the bird does. And this guy gives you your main story quests. Um, so yeah, there's, he's got a few quests for you. Each of them lead you off through one of these grassy doors. So let's dive in and see what it's like. I noticed that some of the robots look a little bit like people. Like that one there is wearing a, this, uh, like a suit and tie. Kind of makes sense from the whole um, Peter perspective. Ow! There's probably a lot of uh, hidden meanings behind this game that may not be all that hidden. But um, well, as it come uh, as like, as twin stick shooters go, go, this is a good one. Like it's. It's not revolutionary or anything like that, but, um, and it doesn't do anything particularly, you know, super special for a twin stick shooter, but it is solid. Like, it does, it does everything that it does right, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to do anything wrong in my opinion. It could have a little bit more, uh, it could have a little bit more to do in it, but, um, ah shit, I shouldn't have picked up this gun. But, you know, it's, it's decent. Look these fat bastards with their fork arms. Anyway, uh, uh, there is a lot of variety in the weapons. Die. This one in particular really sucks. What's this? Ah, this one sucks too. Die. Eh. I don't know if there's bosses in this. I haven't fought any yet. But uh, I finished one of the missions and it made me just break four panes of glass at the end to free a whale. So you're out. So I, right, I'm, I'm, maybe there'll be a boss at the end of this level. So, oh, that's a good gun. I want that. I want that in my hands. There we go. That's, that's more like it. Now these, co th those are the coins that you use to buy the new beanies and stuff. Oh, hello. Ow. Give me that. I'm getting my ass whooped. Those hook guys are kind of useless, they just float around and don't really do much. Now, I still haven't found my favorite gun yet. It's the, it, it, you, you'll see it when, when I get it, and it's amazing. But I haven't seen it yet. Now, there isn't a whole lot of variety in the zones themselves. Each door yeah, leads you to, like, in, in, from the first room, each door leads you to the grassy areas. And uh, I don't know if they change after that. Like, I'm still in the grassy area in this one. I know in the first mission, after a good few grassy zones, it changed to, like, an aquarium-style deal. I can't even remember what the mission I have at the moment is. It's been a while since I turned this on. I have had a lot of trouble recording this game uh, and none of it was the game's fault it's just the first time the audio came out really badly second time I got uh, interrupted in the middle of it third time I got interrupted in the middle of it so you know this goes not bad hopefully this recording goes goes better than the other ones die 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 I said this gun wasn't bad but it just kind of pushes them Oh, I didn't even notice those guys over there. So yeah, these crates... Ooh! Flamethrower. I, I can't remember if that's any good. I didn't even notice I picked this up. Oh no, I don't want you again. Die. The crates hold guns, ammo, health, stuff like that. So they're worth uh, breaking. And the pirate pug gives you bounties to destroy them every now and again. So... Oh, shit. Chainsaw dudes in the corner. This isn't good. There we go. Oh, that's the triple barrel. Don't want that piece of shit. Give me that. This gun sucks. Well, it's it's strong. I know I'm saying all the guns suck, but they kind of all do. <laughs> like they're strong, so you got to get used to them. Like this one seems to shoot in a funny angle. 
all the time. This is the, I'll show you this one. This one's the yarn ball launcher. Hello. Okay, so it, it, the zones do change. It just takes a, it takes a while. So now we're in the sheep fur factory. Ow. Ah, crap. Picked up the tomato gun again. Hate it. So the tomato gun is kind of crap. It just, uh, it does damage if you hit them directly, but if you just get that splodge on them, it just slows them down. Also, that splodge will slow you down as well. So, that sucks. I don't think in the aquarium there were any environmental traps, but I can't remember. Die, die, die. That's kind of interesting. I'm hoping there are bosses, because that'll, uh... Oh, those are, those are some gnarly looking hooks up here. I hope there's bosses, because that'll just, that'll just give this uh, game a little bit extra that it kind of needs. Like, it's, it's, it's decent and it's solid. Like, I'd give this game a 6 out of 10 on the free-to-play twin-stick shooter scale, which at the moment only has this on it for me. But, um... I would give it higher, but it needs more. It's just very simplistic. Solid, but simplistic. The art styles are good, though. That's a that's a plus score. It's a very cutesy, colourful game. So if you're into that... Ow! Then this is the game for you. Also, if you like cats... Who, uh... Blow shit up. And, you know, who doesn't like cats that blow shit up? Well, this is like the, uh... Perfect example of cats just being fast. You know, when, when you're like looking at a cat and it's about to push it on stable, you're like, no, stop it, and it does it anyway. Well, this cat doesn't just doesn't just push your shit off the table. It pulls out a gun and kicks your ass with it. You do not want to mess with this cat. This is Rambo cat. That sheep is in love with me, and its hats are amazing. I mean, it's coin. Hello. See, the, these, uh, the robots with the, like, blade arms kind of look like they have, uh, faces. I'm slow again. Stupid. Tomato gun. Why has nobody dropped me a gun yet? I want to get rid of this. What are you again? Oh, you're the electricity gun. No, you're the ball bearing gun. You're good. I like you. Let me alone, you fat bastards. Obviously, I'm not gonna do like a let's play or anything like on, on, on this game. I'm just gonna uh, do this taste test, show you guys what it's like. Uh, the trophies aren't too bad in it. Some of them are a little bit grindy for a little bit too grindy for my liking, but um, you know, some people like the whole grindy one. And if it's if you if you get this game as like just a, a time waster, just something to do when you're in a rush, you know, well not in a rush, but when you're trying to waste time, like you got something to do in like an hour, you don't wanna load up something like Final Fantasy, but you're like, hey, I'll load up Kitten Squad. Blow up some sadistic robots and a cat. That's kind of what I feel like this game would be best for. Eh. Or, like, if you're really into twin stick shooters and you're looking for something a bit... just a bit cute. Die. This one could work for you. Oh, this one's... slow. I can't remember if it's good. I know it's slow. Ah, shit, I didn't even see that one there. That's a fist gun, I don't want that. What are you? Tomato, don't want you. And you're the very first gun. It's better than the tomato one, at least. More sheep! Sheep eye. Sheepses. Rocket launcher! This cat is amazing. Look, a cat wearing a beanie with shades and a fucking quad-barreled rocket launcher. Rambo cat. Eh. This gun is hard to aim. Get out of my face. I wish their spikes hurt them, but maybe that would be a bit too easy seeing as their their AI path and path is just kinda straight to the cat. Oh shit, didn't see you. There's too many coins on you. Ow. You just walked straight into you like a dumbass. Oh no. These guys are annoying. Yeah, that's what. Oh, you're just a one. Leave me alone. Hit the goddamn chicken robot. 
Hello. Nope. Don't you throw your paws at me. I'm in a corner. No, I'm gonna die. Oh, I have so little health. Okay, okay. We're okay. Just don't do anything stupid, Jack. I want this help. There we go. Okay. I think we're good now. More cat. No, this isn't a cat. More sheep. That one's wearing a hat. Amazing. Okay, we'll grab this again. Try it out in an actual fight. So that's what it does. It shoots the initial beam and then wow, 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 it's all over the place. Die. And it seems to have a very powerful push effect. Ah, I walked into the bomb. Eh. It's not that this game is surprisingly difficult. It's like, from what I've seen, it's not very difficult. I just suck at it. I'm not used to the guns at all. Probably gets harder. Probably. Oh no, not the chickens! Not the chickens! Get off me, chicken! The chickens are the worst because they're so fast. Let's try the flamethrower. Uh, the levels seem a little bit long as well. That's a little bit of a problem. Like, there's. It's an awful lot of me just going through doors without any real semblance of progress. Like, I feel like I should have saved these sheep by now. But, no. I haven't. I'm gonna die. Back off. See, it's less that the game is particularly difficult. It's more that it's an endurance run. It's just lots of rooms. Are you again? Ah, oh, shit. Lots of rooms. And they just drain your health slowly. Sometimes quickly, if you're, if you're me. Die, you big, fat, fork-holding douche. Okay. We're back up to a decent... Oh, yes. Finally. Best gun in the game. It shoots explosive carrots. This gun is the best. Die. Can't stop me now, I've got a carrot gun. Or PC, bitch. It doesn't pack as much of a wallop as, say, the quad barrel rocket launcher, but I can aim with this one, which is awesome, and it's, you know, I'm shooting carrots. How many, how many people can, you know, die and be like, yeah, I was, I was killed by a carrot launcher. By a carrot launching cat. Apparently it's not very good at breaking cages though, which is problematic seeing as my quest is to- Oh, that's it! Is that- is that it? That's the whole mission. Yeah, that was the whole mission, no boss. Okay, so I'm still not certain if there's bosses. I'm not gonna try another mission in a- in a video to see if there is. Uh, if you guys play it and find out if there is bosses or, or if there isn't any bosses, leave a comment below and let me know. And tell me what you think of the game. Also, can I buy a new cat? I can buy a new cat. Let's go with... This guy, the, the panda cat. I like him. Now... And let's give him... No, I can't afford a monocle. I was gonna give him a monocle. Alright, this is... This is my cat. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, TTF Gentleman Cowboy Kitten.